We back in here. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, this game is lit. Oh. What you got? What you got? Inscriptions. I'll look at that. Scanning again? See, I'm glad I brought him around here. What the hell is going on here? Scan that. I need to name my robot. I don't know what to name them though. This looks like a boss area. Big open area. Lots of open space. Hey there, BD1. And there was a save point right outside. Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Get out. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Why couldn't he sit on the tomb? Why he sit right in the water? No, I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? Okay, EA, I see y'all with that narrative a little bit. I see you. A long time ago. Trophy, baby. New objective. All up out of here. I think I found what you wanted me to see. 
sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. What's going on? Whoa! That's right, I can't block that. You know what? I'm about to try to cut his tongue. Damn it! I said cut his tongue, not get touched by the tongue. I think I get it. Combination of force and wrong one. Go ahead, do it. Ah, I missed. Damn, I had it. I legit had it that time, and I missed, like 20 times did I miss, it's just sad, you are a sad, strange little man, what you got? Scanning again? Mysterious skeletons, interesting. Workshop. Bandit workshop means potential for like to, what the? Oh, I feel like that's a trap. Okay, good. some interest in death and strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark that's the next destination there Y'all, y'all. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. No, hell no. I'm about to, I'm about to cut a tongue before I leave here. <laughs> Devil's a lie. Smells worse than Grease does. Took too long. Uh. 
Come on, do it. <sighs> Did I miss? I missed. Come on, I hit the body and not the tongue. Not scientifically possible. Nah. Like I said, I'm cutting the tongue before I leave here. You already know what's about to happen right now. Yeah, I see that. Why'd I do that? on me. Alright, let's go. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But I'm determined to cut that tongue off. I have to do this. I have to be victorious. Plus, it's good XP to keep killing that thing, so... My XP goes up a lot. It's a good way to leave here powered up. He's not here. They lied to me! these little ass trees can stop me from going somewhere. God damn it, cow. Can I run around? You do the mess around. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nope, can't run past it. How did I not see that damn hole right there? BD, you were supposed to warn me of such things. Like that! How the hell did you not warn me of that? I knew it was there, but you could have still warned me. I was moving too fast. Huh. Cow, cow, you landed up there now. You could have did that. lied to me <laughs> I love how they just poop into the ground like that what 
hell? That bug leaked the tunnel. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Go! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Obi! <laughs> With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? Of course I'm with you. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. What's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. No, you but haven't. You, know, you, you just met me. Back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. All right, <laughs> I'll see if I can find any. Well, I found you one. You're welcome. What else can I mess with in here? Let's get off the ship. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, you push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there. Let me get past. I remember something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. Hang on. Time to go? Great. Hate sitting around like this. Dathomir and Zepho. Huh, and we're, we're, oh, we're gonna, 62 percent, hey, 16 chests, I didn't see that many chests, good lord, 
Let's see, Zepho or Dothmir. Dothmir sounds a lot harder, so. And this place looks like Earth on the low, so I'm gonna go here. I was gonna say nothing happened. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I'm stupid. Must be hard watching all your friends get gunned down. I mean, you know, purged or whatever. What? It helps to talk about it, right? No? Yes, it was difficult. But you must cope, not forget. You must remember the mistakes of the past and change things going forward to make sure they never happen again. Sounds like you're not too sure everything is going to work out. I'm not. That's why adaptation is important. Whether it's a course of action or an idea, we all have to be ready to change. Kid, sit down. We're here. Look of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Yeah, Mount Everest. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Don't you say stuff like that. Supposed to keep his opinion to himself. I'm sure everything's under control. Yes, it's under control. It's just a little tricky. <laughs> Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. Who are you trying to contact? I thought we was the only ones out here. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. I'm glad I got my poncho on. It looked cold out there. Cal, over here. What you want? Where you at? Uh -huh. You did What's good up? work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. All right, appreciate it. All right gonna stop here and start our next video so we can start this video fresh in a lot more time.